Hey guys, it's uh, Feedin here again, uh, creator of Tiny Keep, and this is part four of our game AI demonstration. Now, um, in this video, I want to talk about group behaviors and, and how skeletons and other monsters interact with each other, and how they um, become alerted as a group and uh, chase you in a group. Um, so, if you remember in part two of the series, um, Fire Imps. Um, Retreating a defensive uh, update, the fire imps will flee from you at the sight of you, but also any other monsters in the area um, who can see that particular fire imp become alerted as well and will also try and flee you. Um, so that's the state is kind of propagated throughout the group. Now, this is uh, like to explain how, exactly how uh, in detail this works. Uh, so, as you can see here, uh, all these skeletons are after me. Now, obviously, as I mentioned in the roaming and chasing behaviors, if the skeleton has you in his line of sight, uh, becomes alerted, uh, becomes uh, alert mode, um, and then from that point forward, um, all the skeleton needs to do is chase after you or the smell trail that you leave behind. Um, and if it can do neither of those things, then it will try and trace uh, the last known location uh, that it's seen you before. Um, as a case of a group, if one skeleton gets alerted, then all the other skeletons in the same line of sight, so they must also see the skeleton that's been alerted, will inherit the alert level um, from the one that was originally chasing you. Now, this means that they become alerted and then they'll be able to chase after you um, or your smell trails and the last seen location as well. Um, now, if the skeleton is alerted by a friend but can't see them, then in order to kind of maintain the chasing behavior, they also have to record the last known location of the man in front of them. Um, so you kind of get like a little queue of people. So even if these three guys here can't see this skeleton, they will also record the last known location of him. Um, so you can kind of get a little chain uh, of skeletons all around the map. So that's basically how, much, how following works. Uh, it works in a chain. Um, so if you get one skeleton that has get alerted, all of the other skeletons in the chain will get propagated and, and will chase after you as well. And it uh, seems to be quite effective so far. Um, there's a number of improvements that I could possibly do um, if they can't see or smell the one in front um, and they've already reached the last known location, like those two guys have here, then they kind of return back to roaming mode. Uh, in which case they'll make a best guess and, and go to the nearest waypoint where you are. Um, but maybe you could uh, carry on in the direction it was going, um, maybe take into the account the velocity and direction uh, of the man in front and remember that and then go in the same direction as well, continue the chase, maybe in a slightly less elevated alert state. Um, but there's plenty of options here and it all depends on um, playtesting and see what makes sense for the game. Uh, and that's it for groups chasing. So in this update I also wanted to sneak in a new uh, monster behavior that I've created um, I've been working on for a while now and that's the skeleton archer um, so instead of like a normal skeleton uh, who's normally very aggressive will attack and side of you and will chase you all around the map until it reaches you and then attacks uh, the skeleton archer is a little bit more cautious um, they will try and maintain their distance um, necessary for a ranged attack. So, if uh, let's see if he detects me, what happens? There we go. And he will run away from you if you get too close and will start attacking you at a, a comfortable distance. Now, if you try and attack him again and try and chase after him, you always try and maintain his distance. Now, if you get too far away from him, he will chase after you. So he's always trying to maintain that level of distance where he thinks it's the most effective uh, to shoot his arrows. So the way this works is a combination of the two behaviors that we've talked about before. Um, the first one, part one, from roaming and chasing behaviors is so he sees you, he'll try and attack you, and he'll chase after you if you're too far away. And the second behavior is uh, from part two, and it's fleeing, so if you get too close. Now, in order to switch between part one and part two behaviors, um, chasing and retreating. Um, we have a 
branch in our behavior tree, which is uh, what we use to control a lot of decision making for all of the monsters in our game. And uh, that branch says that if the skeleton is in alert mode and its target is a certain distance away, if it's less than a certain distance, then it will be in retreat. If it's more than a certain amount of distance, then uh, it will pursue. And then there's also something in the behavior tree that says that if it's in the current line of sight, then try and fire an arrow in his direction. Now, it's pretty simple behavior. Um, works quite well. He's always trying to maintain his distance. It's quite tricky to actually get him, but if you manage to get him in the corner. Ooh. So take him out. Now what's really interesting is um, when we combine this skeleton archer with a number of other skeleton archers and normal skeletons as well. Um, and you see that there's some nice emergent behavior appearing. So let's take a look at that. So for this final part of the section, um, we have a dungeon here with three normal skeletons of melee type and three archers. So we've entered the fray and you can see that the skeleton archers are maintaining the distance as discussed before and the other two are going directly for you now. It's quite simple behaviors that they're doing um, nothing different from uh, what we talked about previously but um, you can already see that it's quite nice and challenging you know, you've got your close combat guys trying to get you um, you almost have a uh, your three archers here almost in a triangle you know kind of trying to judge the best position to get you and, and always maintaining that distance uh, in order to be safe it's, it's pretty cool I mean it's, uh, it's a work in progress at the minute um, group behaviors um, would like to add a lot more kind of collaborative nature to it so you know if you find a skeleton that's on its own then it would run away and try and lure you into a uh, uh, false sense of security uh, and hopefully into a group of more baddies and, uh, and some more intelligent stuff like that but already you can see that it's, uh, it's proving quite challenging to just uh, to get to the archers and make sure you're defending yourself against these guys and it looks like it almost looks like you're kind of working together and, that, and that's what emergent behavior is all about it's um, less about complicated scripted stuff what about using really simple rules um, modular behaviors assembling them all into a behavior tree um, and then combining them with more and more monsters and seeing the kind of patterns that it produces. And I think this is quite quite fun already for a game but of course we'll uh, be looking to more interesting stuff in the future. Um, so that's it for today. Uh, group behaviors with ranged attacks and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you like what you see have a look at our Kickstarter page. Um, we've got, at the time of writing, uh, about two days left now of uh, funding. Um, we're about 70, approximately 70% 70 there, and uh, really need your help and your pledges to make this game a reality. So, uh, uh, if you uh, be really grateful if you can support us in our game. If you like these kind of videos and articles, uh, um, I'll provide them in the future. Um, so, thanks very much, and uh, see you soon for part five.